So this is a great time to mention that this is our Resolume Arena 7.10 tips and tricks. If you are new to this software, you should be starting here to start and then come back and adapt this trick and do awesome gigs. All right, let's dive into Resolume Arena 7. To keep it simpler, we're going to use only sources. Let's drop a solid color. Whoa, for our eyes sake, let's just change the color to something soothing so that we don't die. Let's add an effect called grid. Let's noodle it till it makes some sense. So let's say we are going to work on this solid color. Let's update, update the thumbnail. So for this example, we're going to use strobe on top of our composition, but it works on top of clip layers and groups as well. So let's drop strobe on top of composition. Let's check out the parameters of strobe. Here we can see this is at its best at 0.99 and this is somewhat strobe at 0 0.6, 0 0.7 maybe. So we're going to use this range as our MIDI mapping. I really hope you know the shortcut of MIDI mapping. It's Control Shift M for PC and Command Shift M for Mac. First of all, let's map the button. Maybe we put this button on strobe. An option, let's go to piano mode so that the button gets to be a flash button. And let's enable invert mode. Means this is not active when it's pressed. Let's get out of MIDI mapping. Let's try the button. Ta -da 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 -da. Okay, so it works. So let's press Ctrl Shift M again. Let's set the range, MIDI map the range of strobing maybe with this button. Let's go to the range. Remember, we have to set the range to 0.6 or maybe 0.7 to 0.99. Yes, 0.99 is our sweet spot for this FX. So let's get out of MIDI mapping. Means this is mapped. So let's try out how our faders are working. So let's tick, 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 tick. So now my strobe is listening to me. Remember I told you how you can do the same trick on keyboards. This is how you do it. I hope you know the keyboard shortcut for this. Control Shift K on Windows and Command Shift K on Mac opens up your keyboard shortcuts. So let's map this strobe blackout button to our num zero remember we had the frequency decided so what we're gonna do is we're gonna press one right right button click duplicate it again duplicate it so we have three ranges so we do it map it again this one is for num one this one is num two this one is num3. All right, so let's set the ranges for num3. So our num3 is again, our num3 is straight out to 98 to 99, means this is very high. Our second one is maybe 0.8. We can just put it somewhere like 0.76. And the first one is that uh, this one is heavy oh no this one is the slowest one so let's change the middle one to somewhere like 80 so let's make sure the blackout function is in piano mode and it's in invert means this is a flash button and this is activated all the time and when I press some button it just disables itself yes we're done so we press ctrl shift K to exit so let's check out our keyboard mapping so we can strobe here like this let it go change the frequency and then strobe like a little faster and then change to faster one and then strobe like this or we can just go like this go like this go like go like go like this
if you have watched this video till this part that means you are a visual enthusiast like us like the people in our small uprising community called we are vj bangladesh subscribe to our community for future workshop lessons and idea jamming sessions together we make a greener art with controlled strobing <laughs>